world conquering rampage. Mm. All right. Our reality is that existence itself as we know it on the earth is in question. There has been attempt to eliminate over 90% of the world's population. Absolutely. This is what we're dealing with. Our communities are under siege, but not just our communities, every community, Mother Earth and all of her creatures, all right? We cannot exist without all of the creatures of Mother Earth that help to pollinate all of the flowers, the plants, the trees, and whatnot, and capitalism, the foundation of which is to utilize, utilize and usurp an intelligence's natural order to serve someone else's purposes and agendas. Mm. Black people are three quarters, or people of color are three quarters of the world's population. What we have to realize is that we are under siege through what I refer to as weapons of mass destruction the destruction of masses of people through tobacco, alcohol, sugar, dairy, meat, chicken, sea creatures, as well as devitalized, degerminated, white-based flour, beans, and carrots, and golden uh, bell peppers, and all of the artificial foods that are in our communities or not in our communities. And so those who really aspire towards veganism and vegetarianism in an attempt to free themselves up are still eating food that's made by man. Man cannot improve upon the perfection of mother. Mother Earth, Mother Nature, the universal mothers or the cosmic mothers. Capitalism functions off of the oppression of the divine feminine. Every being is intelligent, and in the center of being, there is that eye that sees. We have been taught, miseducated, to think that we can prosper off of someone else's suffering, pain, subjugation, domination, violation, bastardization, and usurpation, which is what we support in terms of black people and all people in terms of feeding off the flesh of dead animals, the aborted fetuses of chickens, the pus and mucus of cows, and whatnot. We are supporting a Holocaust that is more intense than anything we as a people have suffered because you have more than 30 million animals who are intelligent beings being denied their rights to perpetuate their own lineages, being denied their mating, being fed 90% of all of the produce that is grown in this country is fed to those animals. Over 50% of all of the antibiotic use is used on those animals. Over 90% of the land base and the water that is of Mother Earth is used for those animals. We have to come to a point and place where we are committed to life and the laws that govern our being continued in existence. We cannot be licensed, certified, degreed, miseducated, or whatnot to be the perpetrators and the perpetuators of death as popular and common activity, collective learning and education, and the path of our prosperity. All of those brothers and sisters with dreads or whatever who work on behalf of the corporate deities of death, the tobacco, the alcohol, the sugar, the dairy, the meat, the Coca-Cola, the Burger King, the McDonald's, Pretty and dead. whatnot, we are having to come to a point and place where we realize that our existence is going to be taken from us as a result of not wholeheartedly being in commitment to life itself, to light itself, to truth itself, and to exalting the intelligence of our being. Oppression happens at the cellular level, mm -hmm. and everybody is oppressed. All of your white people are oppressed. Right. All of your Hispanic people are oppressed. All people as well as Mother Earth and her creatures are oppressed. So how do we deal with liberation? We free ourselves up at the cellular level. We stop supporting the corporate deities of death. We close down these places by educating consistently so that Coca-Cola, Burger King, McDonald's will have to close up in our communities. These people are given subsidies. They've taken sisters off of, off of support 
all right, for our being able to maintain our families. We are under siege, and being under siege means that you're dealing with a people who do not want strong nations, and particularly strong black nations. So they've adulterated the black man, criminalized the back black man, effeminized the black man, castrated the black man, or tried to get the black man to be a carbon copy of them. We are mm. in a now moment where we have to realize that we are both male, female, both and neither. We are these living, loving, intelligent, potent, and immortal points of an absolute and supreme presence. Our ancients are calling us forward. If the earth has to quiver, shiver, and quake to get every one of them off the planet, understand we need to make transition from the planet, and we need to make the transition as living beings. The corporate deities of death, are intending to make sure that we walk as dead people, that we're completely unconscious, uncaring, and dealing with any ism or any schism is not our salvation. Our salvation is harmonizing with the intelligences of existence. Our salvation and our deliverance is as a result of we with our own words saying, I commit my whole body, heart, mind, life, and soul to being cleared, cleansed, purified, renewed, rebirthed, revivified, so that I stand as the living testament and can give the living testimonial of the glory of the triumph of the absolute on behalf of the 99 million that did not make that journey, on behalf of the 11 million that made it on behalf of all of those who died from the cigarettes, the alcohol, the tobacco, the diabetes, and all of this. We are under siege, and the only correct response to being under siege is to commit your whole body, heart, mind, and soul to walking in the light and the truth of who you are as God and God as personified. All right. Brother Terry, Brother Terry, I'm just going to let you... What's on your mind, brother? Well, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for being here. And um, as far as being a black man, man, we want to make a lot of excuses about, you know, what we need to do. Right. You know, and we need to come back and just stand up and be a man. You That's know right. what I mean? First of all. And our youth, man, we got to start watching out for our youth. You know, we're not teaching them nothing. They just running wild. They're wearing their pants off. They, t you know, showing their tail, just disrespecting us as a people. Mm. You know, so we just need to really, as men, start controlling our communities and taking back our community. Okay. And okay. Not, not allowing certain behaviors to, you know, to, be, to, be, to go on. Okay. Brother Jay, I know you like working with the youth. Um, Brother Jay, what's your, what's your, you know, we got kids being locked up, you know, committing murders and mayhem whatnot. I mean, what was your take on as far as, you know, building a new black nation? I mean, because you out there with that youth. You know, you, you're not, you know, you, you're not talking about you being about it. You out there in them streets, man. So, Brother Jay, break down to us, you know, the whole, you know. Two, two most important things crossed my mind as everyone was speaking. First, I want to give his sister all praise due to our lives. My point I wanted to make is, we first can't uh, forget about Malcolm and Martin in their meeting with our closet. Okay. Because if you ignore that meeting, that meeting was totally all about us. Absolutely. And you know, you can't go into victims of other races when victims of other races victimized us along with the other races. You feel me? Right. We've always been pretty much the, uh, you know, what did P.E. used to say? We used to be number two. No, Wycliffe said we used to be number 10, now we're coming back to the one of the mm. worst hated race. Mm. We used to be number 10, now we're number one. So the more, the more I'm saying, they were talking about economics. Right. Because with no money, we can talk and be full of every knowledge of the scrolls of the Book of Gilgamesh, Ivan Van Sturdebrug, we can go, you know, uh, to Krishna, Sargon, Mithra, Dionysus, and all of them dying and resurrected and born them. We can go there. We can go to the uh, addendum with the marrow, with the coin and all that. We ain't going to be able to stop none of them without mm -hmm. no money. Okay, so. Period. All right. So my point is grouping organizations is great, but there can't be a biblical sense of anything when you get here. 
Now you can be of God. That's why they say Psalms 111 says the only one holy and reverend is, is God. And people run around there and ask him, I'm going to see the reverend. You wrong.